the best warm-up drill you can do on the mitts to get you ready for a great boxing session. Hi, my name's Glenn Holmes. I'm the co-owner of the Box and Burn Academy, the world's number one boxing fitness certification course. I'm also the founding trainer here at Box and Burn in Los Angeles, California. All right, so with this drill, what we're trying to do is get a little bit of a burn in the shoulders to kind of clear that waste product out of the shoulders before getting into a few rounds on the mitts or a heavy bag or even a sparring session. So what we're gonna start off with is just straight punches and we're just gonna develop rhythm and timing and get that one, two going, developing that timing and rhythm and getting the heart rate up a little bit. So that's the start is we're just gonna develop some rhythm with the one, twos, right? Now in between that, to start getting the reactions going, I'm gonna throw at random a left hook uh, for her to block, a right hook for her to block, and then in between she's gonna counter with a cross hook cross. After the cross hook cross, we're gonna go straight back into that one two, right? So that's the, the, the two things that we're putting in together. You'll see as we get into the drill as well, during the straight punches, you can also drop to uppercuts, just to kind of mix up the punches a little bit, and back to straight. So you can play around with uppercuts and straights on this drill, but every time after each block block, it's always a cross hook cross. And on that cross up cross, what we're looking for is maximum power and explosive power and speed, right? So we're gonna really sit down on those punches, but on the one twos in between, it's just nice and relaxed, working on the technique, just keeping that uh, rhythm going, right? Developing the rhythm and timing. The reason why I love this drill so much to, to get warmed up for a boxing session is because it kind of just hits everything. If you can do this for 30 seconds or a minute, you'll feel that good burn in the shoulders, but you've hit everything. You've hit technique on the one twos and the uppercuts, you've hit defense and reactions as well, which is great for if you're going into a sparring session. And also it's great to just snap those explosive punches in between as well. So it's just catching and shooting with explosive power. So just kind of hitting everything with one nice simple drill. So again, one more time, straight punches, catch two shots on the gloves, right, left, right in between, and then right back into it and just keep it going for as long as you want, okay? So here's a quick example of how it would work at a slow pace. So just start off with one twos. When I feel ready, I'm just gonna give her that two punches to block. Block, block, catch, bam. And then straight back into that one, two. And then right here, it's just nice and relaxed, nice and easy, just breathing. Getting those shoulders to burn a little bit, making sure the hands are coming back to the chin. And then really sitting down on that cross hook cross in between. Uppercuts. Just mixing up the variety of the punches. Back to straight. Slow it down a little bit, nice and steady. Now this is where we want the speed. Catch, catch. Good, set those feet, breathe. Full extension on these punches. I'm not doing the work for her, making sure she has to meet the mitts. Ah, good, that's it. Try and catch them off guard as well as they start to fatigue and the heart rate goes up a little bit. Ah, good, uppercuts. Straight. Ah, there you go, nice. So there's my favorite warm-up drill on the mitts. Uh, use that quite a lot before we get into some more rounds on the mitts or before we do some heavy bag work. Um, just great for getting everything fired up. So one more time just to recap. Straight punches, block, block, right, left, right, right back to your straight punches, mixing the uppercuts if you want. Um, make sure you're keeping that, um, those sprints, those non-stop punches nice and light. They're just tappy feely shots to work on the technique. The cross up cross after the blocks is where you wanna sit down and get that snap and power. Um, try this drill, let me know what you think of it, let me know how it works for you. I'd love to hear your comments. Leave them in the comments below, thanks.